tourism in Antarctica is on the rise, with around 105,000 visitors a year to what are highly sensitive ecological areas. I went to bed and we were drifting through dozens and dozens of icebergs. And this morning I was greeted by the most incredible view. We finally arrived in Antarctica. We're off to take a closer look at a penguin colony. Thank you very much indeed. First time for sure. Follow the flags. Remember the five meter distance to the penguins and not to put anything on the ground. And there are some penguin highways, but they're not super busy these days. But if there's a penguin coming across In order to protect the environment from our influence, we're only allowed to walk along particular pathways which are indicated by all of these flags. The penguins, well, they can go wherever they like and we have to keep a five metre distance from them. Here we have a colony of gentle penguins. Penguins that have orange bills and a white patch on their head. This is one of the southernmost locations of gentle penguin colonies. As the climate warms, these penguins are expanding their habitats to areas that were previously too icy for them to breed. Have they got their young with them at the moment? Yes. The chicks have just recently hatched, so this is really an exciting day because these are the first chicks that we are seeing this season. They are a little bit late this year. Considering they've got chicks and things, they don't seem particularly stressed by human beings being quite close to them. Yeah, penguins, they, they don't know humans as a threat as long as we keep the distance, the safe distance from them. Some breeds of penguins are better at adapting to climate change than others. Gentle penguins are different from the other penguins because they're actually doing well, they are thriving in these warmer conditions. While emperor penguins, they breed during the winter, so they need a lot of stable sea ice to build their colonies. And what we are seeing now is that the sea ice is breaking too early and the chicks, they cannot finish their cycle. The, the ice breaks before they are ready to go to the sea. So usually they end up drowning, which is terribly sad. It's encouraging to see the Gentoo penguins have successfully adapted to the warming trend. You can actually see the chick. Very small, they're only a couple of days old. So they kind of look like fluffy rocks, you know. But significant numbers of the world's penguin breeds are currently under threat due to global warming. Seeing the sheer volume of tourists here today, with many having taken long haul flights, it does make me wonder if any of us should be here at all. The Travel Show, your essential guide wherever you're heading. Every weekend on BBC News.